In a world where you need audio heroes, two nerds will come together to fight for nerd kind. It's time for nerds to step up and unite. It's time for a Crisis on Infinite Podcast. <laughs> Wasn't that video like he had superpowers? Really? Like what? Like he did like a superhero jump and like in the when he came into the apartment he like jumped up like like four or five steps but it was like flawless. So we're talking about Justin Timberlake in the music video for Cry Me a River. Yeah, yeah. Which hopefully you figured out we just sang. Yeah, no, that's okay. We're trying. <laughs> yeah, it, in the music video it was like he jumped for like I can ele- I can levitate. It was like Trinity in, in, uh, in the Matrix. It was crazy. <laughs> I'm in the Matrix for this. Video. I mean, this song probably came out around the Matrix. So. Yeah, no what it did. Timberlake was in the Matrix. I saw a theory about the Matrix the other day too. Well, about what? The Matrix. It's, apparently, it said that Neo wasn't the one. It was Agent Smith. Who was Aiden Smith? The guy who was fighting the whole time. Oh, with Agent Smith. Yeah, yeah. I was like, who is Aiden Smith? Aiden I've Smith. never heard of that character <laughs> on the show or movie. Yeah, apparently he was the one. And it was all like like, like smoke and mirrors to get him oh. and Neo to fight so they can do what they had to do. You know, I won't nerd out too much about it, but yeah. yeah. But that's what this podcast is for, right, Kevin? But yet, but the last week, was it last week or week before I said uh, the Green Lantern Oath and then people got like, wow, he's really, he's really. But there. you know what? We can do that here because it's Crisis on, on Infinite, Infinite Podcast. Podcast. My name's Hoodie. I didn't say that, so. I'm Kevin. And Kevin. You know, welcome to the party. <laughs> it's, it is a party. It's an all-out nerd party. And guess what? You got the special RSVP. You got new in the VIP, baby. Oh, yeah. Ba- oh, yeah. You passed that rel- rel- velvet rope. Good job. You did it. Velvet vote. Vote velvet. Rope. Vote for velvet. Vote for velvet. <laughs> 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 so it's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Kevin. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too, we sir. We broke into the studio. Shh. They locked it from us. Don't tell them. And we're here <laughs> broadcasting you live from Thanksgiving. We're actually in the uh, the new studios. Oh, look, there's the Macy's Day Parade right there on TV right now. I've never watched this thing from beginning to end. You know, ever. I only look for the Pikachu float, float, uh, balloon, balloon, yeah. balloon, yeah. And then you, I always am confused why they always have. There is noise going on randomly in the studio. Yeah, they're doing something down People are guess. working on Thanksgiving, I guess. Uh, overtime, so like, oh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm always confused why they bring in singers, but the singers always. You know, uh, lip sync. Yeah, because the they're outside and it's always windy. So what's the point of <laughs> even trying? Yeah, <laughs> there's always one uh, balloon that's always partially deflating. Like, oh, there's there's sad Elmo. I just don't understand. Like, what's the point of, of it's the, to get uh, you hyped for Christmas, bud? But it's Thanksgiving. And you know what? <laughs> that's why Santa's at the end. Because guess what? As soon as the Macy's Day Parade ends, it's Christmas. Interesting note about Santa. He's actually the strongest mutant in the Marvel universe. Oh, really? Yeah. Is there a mutant named Santa or Santa is a mutant? Santa is a mutant. Is that how he gets the... F- exactly. Oh, that <laughs> explains so much. I think Kevin. he moves... I think he actually he's, he's like a time traveler, so uh. instead of like going to overnight mm-hmm. actually doing all, all the gifts, even though it's, what, it's Thanksgiving today, right? But he's already, he's already been at Christmas three, four times delivering gifts all around the world. Uh. That's how he does it. Do you know, uh, speaking of X-Men, that the... Director of Deadpool, they replaced the original guy. Yeah, uh, e- no, was Tim it? Miller. Yeah, yeah, yeah Tim, his name. something like that. Yeah, yeah, they replaced him with the guy that's directing John Wick and John Wick Two. Really? So Deadpool Two is gonna look super bloody and glory. And we're back. And <laughs> everything's <resume>. okay. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was worried. Chill. <laughs> they got this. They know what they're doing. <laughs> um, so, what are your plans on tap for this Thanksgiving weekend? Food and sleep. And maybe seeing some movies? I think I'm going to try to see um, Fantastic Beasts tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You should. It's really good. And, you know, on Black Friday, everyone's going into stores. No one's going into movie theaters. Exactly. So, yeah, I perfect. Can, I, can have a, I can stretch out. Like, yeah, ah, yeah, yeah. I bought two seats for me. Me and my TVs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking them in with Take them in with No one's getting my TVs. <laughs> I paid two dollars for these TVs. I'm gonna. <laughs> I paid three hundred and fifty dollars out of three hundred fifty-five dollars. You know what? It was a bargain. It was a bargain, and I woke up early to get it. I'm gonna fight mm-hmm. for it. <laughs> but since you kind of s- spoiled Doctor Strange for me a little bit, it's my turn to return the favor. I accept my. All right. So, <laughs> Fantastic Beast is awesome. Go watch it. It's a prequel. If you mm. didn't know that, Kevin. Hopefully I'm, you did. I knew that part. I knew that part. <laughs> and it's supposed to be five of them, which is. 
Five? I'm kind of excited because it's more Harry Potter in your life. We always need more wizards. Five, wow. I mean, I'm excited. I mean, usually when you see movies like that would have five, they always have books to follow them. But this yeah, is like almost this like, is all original. Yeah. Ideas. Well, I guess it's sort of based on stuff. Yeah, I guess she had a, had a. It's she, based on specific chapters yeah. of the Harry Potter books. Or, <laughs> <laughs> so there's source material. Um, what you're the saying? fat guy, the guy from Balls of Fury, he's the best part of that movie. I like so. how you said he's the fat guy. Um, there's also <laughs> there's also a monster that's going to remind you of a grandma. That's the best monster. <laughs> that's funny, actually. And that's too. all I will spoil. There's nothing at the end. Harry Potter doesn't do that. No so credits. No, no credits. Okay. credits yeah. okay. So you can actually leave. <laughs> <laughs> that's no fun in that. I don't want to well, watch see, movies When I went to go see it, they kept the lights down, and I assumed, all right, maybe. Yeah. They didn't turn the lights, like, partially up so you could see where you're going. I looked at everyone else, was, looked at my phone, and was, okay, it's time to go. It's time to go. <laughs> and nothing happened, so I was good. There you go. Maybe it only happens for people that have magic and you're a muggle. Ooh, maybe see? only wizards could see that. Exactly. Go, Dang it. Oh. Yeah. What uh what if you were in uh Hogwarts house, did you know which one you'd be in? I didn't think Did you take that test? I didn't take that test, no. So I've taken the test twice. Mm-hmm. Once it said it was a Gryffindor, the other time it said it was a Hufflepuff. And I'm confused because <laughs> You originally said as a Gryffindor, but now I'm, I can't change. Oh, I guess it could. Well, you know, you, you go older, Cuddy, and things I happen. Go older, you know, you, know. You, you go from brave and bold to being a Hufflepuff. Exactly. You know what? I'm proud of being Hufflepuff because you know who's a Hufflepuff? Newt freaking Scamander. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the only famous Hufflepuff I know. Cedric Diggory, and look what he did. Look how far he got in life. I have. I mean, I, I know Gryffindor. I know Sl- Slytherin. Ravenclaw. No. Sounds cool though. It sounds really cool. Ravenclaw sounds really cool. <laughs> the name in general. Yeah. I think I'm gonna name my daughter Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw White. Ravenclaw White. That's a good name actually. <laughs> Ray- Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff Hood. That's what we're gonna name my kid. <laughs> hey Huffle, come over here. Double H, get over here. Double HPH. <laughs> that sounds like a drug. It does, or a disease. Uh, d- Either way, it's bad. Don't get HPH. No. <laughs> hey. Are you talking about HPH? <laughs> but definitely go see it. Kevin, once Kevin sees it, we're going to send out our reviews on at Infinite Pods, which is our social media. Yes. On everything, which That's is great. Which we we, we we live tweet all our shows we see. We can't live tweet movies because we're to kick us out. Yeah. And we're not, this is a pro tip for next week. Uh, we are not, we shouldn't live tweet and discuss discuss any of the crossover until we've seen it fully. I agree. So there's four episodes. Next week's the crossover. Yes, I'm so excited. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You've heard us talk about it for three weeks, and you know, you're probably going to hear us talk about it for three more weeks. My heart's not beating that really fast. <laughs> <laughs> but it starts on Monday, goes through Thursday, and we do this podcast on Thursday, so we feel it's in our best interest, your best interest. Exactly. To not get our analysis until the story is complete. We're doing this for the people. <laughs> the people. For you. For you. The people. But what's cool is, you. Sh- I think I showed you this, and you showed me this too, that on Instagram, you know, they should show a little bit of posters for yeah. the, the episode. That for each individual episode, Supergirl, Flash, Arrow, and Legends, it posts, you know, they're just the, the main superhero, the sidekicks in yeah. front of like a building. But if you put all four of the posters together, it makes something in the background. Are you serious? I am super serious. I need to see I this. I have to find it. Of course, it didn't pop up on my phone when I needed it to pop up. But it makes what I think, and this is totally speculation, the Hall of Justice. Really? The Hall of freaking Justice, people. So th- here's the four pictures. We'll post uh-huh. these on Infinite Pods, the individual ones, and then them together. I see you what you're saying. Th- okay. So you'll be able to piece it together and see. Okay. It looks a lot like a cartoon building that I've seen a lot. It's the Hall of freaking Justice. Dude. It's happening. If anything is going to happen during that crossover, see my hand right now? that's fine. It's shaking. You see a lot. my hand right wow. now? <laughs> You're blushing, Kevin. Look I at you. The, I got chills. I got the chills. <laughs> you also have greens and beans sometimes. <laughs> and potatoes and tomatoes. We were the first ones to start. Yes, that we challenge. originated that. Yes. Yes. You're welcome, Internet. So the you name it challenge. This is off topic from any nerd or geeky. <laughs> I guess viral that's kind, stuff. That's kind of nerdy. Uh, is where you just dance randomly to the. The, bean. the gospel lady singing yeah. beans, greens, potatoes, hams, that. You've probably seen it on Twitter or anything. We were the first ones to do that before it became a challenge. Yes. 
We were the innovators. We were the innovators. We're everybody, so, else, everybody else was the imitators. I'm so proud of us. I know. Oh my God. We started something. <laughs> started from the bottom. And now we're, we're eating. We're kind of I mean, in the middle. Yeah, we're still in the middle. That's yeah, okay. We're getting there. One we're day. getting there. <laughs> one day at a time. <laughs> but I'm excited. Piecing things together in DC is great. Like you said, this is essentially the TV version of Justice League. It pretty much is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just. Because when the arrow started. There was a lot of potential there, and I was like, are they really going to try to do this thing right way? <laughs> or are they going to be like, ah, we'll just do Arrow, and then we'll do this, and then we'll be a villain of the week? No. They went Arrow. They introduced Barry. They did Barry. They introduced Legends. They went to Legends. Now that we got Supergirl, and it's like, they're actually trying to make something good, and I'm yeah. very excited about it. <laughs> even even with like the, the the filler episodes, but whatever. You got to do that. Mm-hmm. Just just take it like a man. and Take wait. it like a man. <laughs> exactly. Be a man, Barry. <laughs> Come on, Ollie. Ollie's a good name. I would name a child that if I had a child. Ollie Hood. Ollie Hood. Ollie Hood. Ollie Hood. I like that. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So DC's piecing things together with the crossover episodes, but Marvel is piecing everything like we've seen for the past five, ten years. It feels like it. I I did some research this week, and I have a cool thing that Kevin doesn't know about. Uh Uh-oh. So all the Infinity Stones in the past movie, they've introduced five out of the six. Mm Mm-hmm. Correct. Yeah. So we've seen the Tesseract. Yeah. We've seen the Aether, which was in Thor. Thor 3, yeah. Thor 2. Thor 2. Tesseract was the Blue Cube. It was in a bunch of movies. Space, it's pretty much Space uh, Stone. We saw the Eye of Agamemnon, which was in Doctor, Doctor Strange. Strange. Spoiler, it's been three-ish weeks, so hopefully yeah, get over it. about that. <laughs> and then we saw the Power Orb. That was in Guardians. In Guardians. And we saw Loki's Scepter, which yeah. was in Avengers 2. Mind Stone. Tesseract is a T. Mm-hmm. H. I know A going. is an Aether. Oh, okay. I know N you're is going. Necklace for I Agamendo. O is Orb for the Power okay. Orb. Okay. S is the Scepter, Loki's Scepter. They are making all the Infinity Stones, stones spell out Thanos. Thanos. Oh. Why is Marvel so good? <laughs> I love that. I don't even. They, Mar, the Kevin Feige, the director, uh, I guess the. He's like the, the, the head honcho of Marvel. He's the boss. Right he's, now. He's, he's the he's, boss. He's a program director. <laughs> he's a program director. <laughs> he. <clears throat> hasn't explicitly said that's what's happening, but he's suddenly like, mm, maybe. maybe yeah. So there's one more stone, and it's it's starting with an H, I guess. It's starting, it's the soul it's stone, ha- right? It better start with an H in some way or form. So that way, I know the, that can be, I'd be like, oh my gosh. The, one, the thing I saw is that the last stone that they have left to introduce yet is the soul stone. Mm-hmm. And it'll be funny if they put the soul stone in Black Panther. Which has a mostly African American cast. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Angela Bassett just got casted in that too. Everybody in Hollywood, if they are of a certain hue, are, is in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you in? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, you're not in that. Oh, yeah, you're in. Okay, you're in, cool. you're in, you're in. It's kind of like Luke Cage. <laughs> but I am hyped for that because I just want the I just want Thor or Iron Man or Captain America to realize. Wait a second. This is. Probably Thor or Guardians, because yeah, they kind of know of Thanos more than anything. I would say maybe even Thor three, mm. maybe, maybe even more Thor three then. The online the rumors are saying that it's the H is supposed to be in Thor Ragnarok instead of Black Panther. Okay, just because Black Panther comes out so close to Infinity yeah. War that it's like. But I was also boom, thinking, boom. thinking maybe they'll, they'll use the, the the Infinity Stone to explain why only vibranium exists in Wakanda. Mm-hmm. Apparently, the H is supposed to be. Uh, it's, it looked like Heimhall, which looked like something uh, from Thor. I don't know what Heimhall is necessarily, but hey, Thor Ragnarok, you're looking good right now. Oh yeah, because and then our friend will be back in Thor Ragnarok. If, if again, spoilers if you haven't seen it yet. Mm. Doctor Strange is gonna be in Thor in Thor three. Oh, well, for a little bit. Yeah, at least for some fun. For some fun. <laughs> <laughs> some magical fun. Mm-hmm. Some I I have like a little fun. Missing with timelines again. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the new trailer came out today? What new trailer? For uh, uh, well, I guess it came out yesterday. Last le- last evening it came out. A little movie I like to call a uh, Cars Three. Oh yes, I did see that, and I immediately got depressed because <laughs> it's so sad. I feel like DreamWorks is just they killing went the Logan off. Route. <laughs> Why are you trying to kill all our childhood <laughs> heroes? Like. It was Toy Story three, where I was bawling like, like like a child that just dropped a cookie, mm-hmm. and now you got this, this, this slow, terrifying. Try to spoil it. I spoil yeah, it. it. Pretty much, 
the whole trailer for Cars 3 is Lightning McQueen wrecking a car, wrecking his car. Mm-hmm. And we know in Cars 3, the cars are alive. Yeah. So, so he's, he's actually getting pretty much. He's dying. He's dying. <laughs> and it's like, why would you do that? <laughs> why? I know Cars 2 wasn't that good, but still, mm-hmm. come on. Like, you can't kill him. It's, it's Lightning McQueen. But Cars 2 wasn't really that good. I thought it was cool, but it wasn't as good as Cars 1, obviously. It wasn't, but it's also for kids. It's also for kids. Yeah. But so, you know what? I'm a respectable adult that goes to these kids' movies. I don't <laughs> say that. Cars 3, oh boy. Looks like a Logan route. I'm not going to go, I want to go see it. I don't want to see Lightning McQueen die. Really? I don't want to see him die. I want to have good memories. He's going to recover. He's going to be a gritty Lightning McQueen that has a beard somehow. I don't know how cars have beards. <laughs> Maybe Rust, I think, would Yeah, Rust would be the beard. That's right. uh, yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> Rust is the beard. That's funny. Comes <laughs> back. <laughs> Uh, and um, the mate is like, Lightning McQueen, you have to help them. <laughs> They're like us. You're like us. <laughs> Mater. Oh, that's the only. Ma- <laughs> Mater, Mater in the Cars franchise is the only job Larry the Cable Guy is getting right now, besides. Probably uh, OTC. Probably OTC. <laughs> You Prowse know it's true. OTC. You haven't seen him in any blue collar comedy tours. And Jeff Foxworthy is just Golden Corral Man right now. I love Golden Corral, though. <laughs> it's so good. They have the best roles in the world. <laughs> mm, Golden Crow. Like, sponsor, this podcast is sponsored by Thanksgiving, which you can also find at Golden Crow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanksgiving with mashed potatoes. Can't wait. <laughs> really excited. What is what is your tradition for Thanksgiving? Do you have anything? First of uh, all, my church has a football game every okay. Thanksgiving. so But you can't play probably this I year. I can't play this year. So, so. Kevin's hurt still. Yeah. I can run in place, though. I can jog. <laughs> I can jog in place lightly. It's I'm great. here, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> so this year I'm coaching, so it'll, it'll, that'll be fun. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm getting walkie-talkie tomorrow, so I can radio my plays into my quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> and then you do this one, do this one, do it good. After that, I go home from that, take a nap, and then I go to my mo- my mom's my uh, step mo- my stepmom. Dang it, go to my mom-in-law's house, mm-hmm. and then I go to my dad's house, nice. and then I go home. So well, this for me, I we usually don't do anything. We go. F- Shopping for Black Thursday, Friday. Mm. I'm trying to set up a uh, opportunity of us playing the good old board game I like to call Settlers of Catan. What is that? I see that on Snapchat all the time. Oh, what, my wh- Snapchat. What is that? So it's a, it, I <laughs> say it's probably an adult risk meets Monopoly. Okay. At the same time, it's definitely a great game. Did you make it up? Is it a real game? No, it's a real game. The, it's a real board game. I thought you guys made it. You can buy it at Target. I thought it was like the, like the game from Parkinson Rec. It'll probably be on sale on Black Friday. <laughs> Oh, the Cones of Dunshire? Yeah, I thought it was like that. <laughs> I would play that game, too. It's close to that game. Whenever I think of that, I'm like, oh, that's the same thing as Settlers, almost. Because I always see you like getting ready, getting ready to do it. Here we go. Mm-hmm. And then like, It's even gotten to the point that my house has a championship belt that we have to defend. Yeah, I saw that. So that's how you make any board game sick. <laughs> that's Monopoly. It could be Connect Four. Connect you put four. a title on that. You put a cha- I was a championship title from when I was like 12, uh-huh. and I just kept it for skits and char- character run-ons. Yeah. And I was like, hey, whoever wins this game is a champion. And then so whenever that person's in the next game, they defend the title. Every other game is like a contender match. Okay. And so right now, I'm number one contender for the title, and I'm coming for it. I'm coming for you. I'm going to be the Settlers champion, the two-time champ. <laughs> Two times. <laughs> yeah. I guess three times, I think. I don't know. Is it hard to learn? A little bit at first. Okay. You, yeah, it's a lot of resource managing, a little bit, and knowing where you're going. Okay, my come but on, it's my fun. Board games. It's, it, you, it's a ask. good. You, it can be anywhere between thirty to two hours, thirty minutes to two hours. I'm so. out. <laughs> I'm already out. So Thanksgiving, <laughs> you know, you're eating turkey. You're like, I'm done. All right, hey mom and dad. I bet you don't know how to play settlers, and I dominate my family. Watch that happen. <laughs> But somehow you're like, wait a second, grandma's coming back. Grandma, you gotta get like ten points out of if you have four people. Grandma got nine points. Grandma, grandma, no, and grandma wins the game. Like, dang it, she's the champion now. She and beat they, me. And now you can't be mean to my, you can't talk smack to grandma. No, nope. she's like, good job, grandma. So proud of you, grandma. You good st- for you. I know you can know it, but you still got it. Up, you still got it up here. You're good. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's funny. Maybe I'll look, I'll, I'll look into that. Cause my wife's family loves board games, mm-hmm. so maybe I'll, I'll look into that. Yeah, you should. But uh, I'm a, I'll, I'll teach I'll teach them to play, but I'm not going to play because two hours. I, I can't sit down for two hours. I, 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 I don't have the, I don't have the patience. I have man, ADD is real with me. Like mm-hmm. I don't I don't I'm not even on medicine for it. So that's the, <laughs> that's the scary part. <laughs> uh, but with the holidays coming, you know, tons of traditions and a new tradition that you could also do. Probably around Christmas time. Mm-hmm. 
is go on to Netflix and do what, Kevin? Watch Marvel Civil War. It's coming on freaking Netflix. I Don't ask for it for Christmas. I got to say, Hoodie. Or wow. holidays. I rewatched that movie like two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. I hated everybody in that movie. Why? They were just so petty. I didn't get it. <laughs> they, they didn't need to fight. They just you wanted to fight. You still like the movie, though, right? Oh, the movie was great, but <laughs> I, I feel like the, the reason for them to fight was just, was just it wasn't, it wasn't organic. Mm-hmm. They were just like, you know what? Let's make a movie about them fighting. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> and that, was the, that was the end of it. It was good, I guess. Yeah. Like, but I love the Spider Man part when he goes, You have the right to remain silent. Like, that part makes me laugh every time. <laughs> <laughs> and when he's crying on a wall, and like, uh, Falcon's like, Everybody's got a gimmick now. Everyone's <laughs> got one now. Got, got a one liner or something there. And, I, and then I'm also mad because I bought the movie. Oh, that's why. That's why you're really. That's why mad. I'm really mad. Yeah. yeah, that's why I'm really mad. I just bought the movie. Now it's gonna be free with my subscription to Netflix. So what was the point? But they don't go away in a month, and then you're like, oh, I wish I had it. Well, that's true. I guess so. When you're trying to marathon for the Infinity War, so there's like, oh, yeah. we'll say by Infinity War there'll be 16, 17 ish movies. Yeah, got Black Panther, uh, Guardians, Thor, Spider Man, Spider Man, and um, Miss um, Marvel's Ms. after. Marvel. 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 after. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Um. So in order to fully get through the podcast, someone um, I know who's this? someone's talking to us. That's Craig. Weird on it. Craig. Craig Wig. How you like doing, it? buddy? Hey, Craig. Oh yeah, that's actually what I wanted to do. Craig, we want to thank you because you are our second member on the Crisis, the Crisis Crew. Crew. We Ding! actually have a list. It's it's building now. <laughs> Obviously, Kevin and I are on it because we're exactly. the creators of it. <laughs> but you know what? Craig's on it and Kimberly's on it now too. I'm a, I'm a, Craig, I'm gonna read your tweet to us because I tweeted a picture of. It's called um, Crisis on Two Earths. It's a picture of the Justice League in the DC film universe, and then also in what would be the DC TV universe. So it's Flash, Superman, Cyborg, Wonder Woman, Batman, and Aquaman. But then if it was a TV universe, it would be Martian Manhunter, Green Arrow, Supergirl, Adam, Superman, and The Flash. Ah. And he tweeted uh, he tweeted us at Crisis, I'm sorry, at Infinite Pods. It would probably be such a good idea. It probably won't happen, sadly. LOL, but it would. <laughs> and he's probably right. It won't happen. But it'd be really cool if it did. So <laughs> thank you for that tweet, Craig. Also, that was pretty cool. We have to shout out Kyle Detra, a.k.a. at Detrica on Instagram. And also Methody, which is Jorge Torres. Been listening to our podcast and actually comment with us. So guess what? You guys are on the Crisis, Crisis Crew. Crew. Ding! Ding! So now we have like what five members, two, four, five, uh, 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 carry the six, we six members. We almost now. have a league. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we can make our own football team. Yeah, no. We can make our own basketball team. We could. Now. Five, we, we got, we got I don't suck think, too. I don't think we do so well, but no, no, I suck. <laughs> we we would lose, but you know what? We'd have fun playing. We would try hard. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the trailer for Ghost in? The, I think Ghost in the Shell. The thing is the movie title. I was afraid to watch it because I saw it at work and it looked like she was naked. And I didn't want to mm-hmm. watch it and get fired. Well, it's, I don't. It's based on anime, yeah. if I'm correct. I don't think we're experts in that, and not in that one. No. Um, Dragon Ball Z is probably the closest we can get. Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon. 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 That's, that's all I watch. Yu Gi Oh, One Piece, maybe. Maybe, maybe Big Briefly O. One Piece. Big O. I used to watch Big O, but it, that's kind uh, of obscure. But it's supposed to be an adaptation of the anime. A lot of people give uh, ScarJo, Scarlett Johansson, a lot of flat because she's playing an Asian role. Yeah, I but, mean, you know, you gotta have some star power in there. Yeah, I'm. They're probably Asian stars they could have gotten. Yeah. But the other thing is, you, they got to sell a movie, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, it sucks, but it's just the world we live in. People, they don't do this for art. They do this to make money. Mm. You know, <laughs> it's as simple as that. It's kind of confusing. I don't know what's really going on. I don't, um, is this the future? But I, this probably be a one I watch on HBO. Oh yeah, definitely. I, 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 HBO. I, I might not go see it in person. I will. I will. Sorry, ScarJo. You know what? We got about that also. But on this this weekend, Mona comes out also. Moana. Moana. Mm-hmm. Come so, on! Didn't you see sorry. the Twitter thing where the guy was like? Don't be ignorant. It's not Mona. It's Moana. It was like this country guy, but he's Polynesian. <laughs> and he's like, my people, we have long, thick hair that's curly. We, it's not Mona. It's Moana. <laughs> so Moana looks good, though. It looks funny. It looks pretty funny. Is it Disney or is it Pixar? I think it's both. It's both. I don't know. The Rock looks good. It? Kevin and I are basically going to go see it because of The Rock. Yeah, definitely. Which is, I think it was a good point for them to put him in there. Because he draw, he's a star power that draws people in. If The Rock vote runs in 2020, I'm voting for The Rock. Like, it's, not, it's already, I'm not even going to. Dwayne Johnson or The Rock? If The Rock runs. <laughs> what if The Rock runs instead of Dwayne Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> Two dual personalities. Uh, <laughs> that'd be funny. But you know what's even better than The Rock mm-hmm. being in Moana? 
Amelia friggin' Clark being in the Han Solo movie. Daenerys? Daenerys Targaryen in the Han Solo. Mother Anthology of Dragons? Movie. Mother of Dragons, a.k.a. maybe Mother of Han Solos. That'd be interesting. I, that'd be cool. So is this movie going to take place like... So I think it's supposed to take place in between sort of Rogue One area where Han's on his own. Still kind of younger, too? I... Let's pitch cast this movie. I'm going to say what I think the movie should be like for the Han Solo movie. Mm-hmm. You give me what you think it is. Okay. It could be completely same, completely different. Okay. So we know Donald Glover is going to be Lando. Yeah. Han Solo is played by Alden Iron- Ehrenreich. Yeah, I don't know who he is, but yeah. <laughs> Amelia Clark's going to be some female role. We don't know about Chewbacca. Mm-hmm. They haven't said anything about Chewbacca, really, or as far as I know. I think the, the whole process is that Han and Lando are going to be growing up. Mm-hmm. They're going to be young friends. Just like us, two interracial friends <laughs> <laughs> crossing boundaries in intergalactic spaces. <laughs> that they grew up together. He inherits the Millennium Falcon, obviously. Falcon, mm-hmm. <clears throat> obviously. But they meet an, an alien named Chewbacca, the mm-hmm. last of his kind of on Kashyyyk. Mm-hmm. Well, not on Kashyyyk, but from Kashyyyk. Yeah. Because Kashyyyk's kind of destroyed by now. Yeah. Oh, the population's wiped out. Pro tip watch episode three, Revenge of the Sith. You <laughs> realize that. But so they adopt him in, saying, "Hey, Chewbacca, you know you are a pet." But then they start treating him as friends. Han starts to build more relationship with Chewbacca, and it causes tension between Lando. Oh, okay. And they fight over the Millennium Falcon. Who's gonna get it? At the same time, Amelia Clark, she's a third party dealer. Mm-hmm. Ooh, ooh, throw that away. Amelia Clark <laughs> is a love interest between Lando and Han. So we got a triangle going on. Lando, okay. Donald Glover gets Amelia Clark. Han gets Chewbacca. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's my pitch. I don't think it's gonna be be based on how he came into he came to be Han. Like maybe, maybe it starts off as, as Han as, as as like a kid. Maybe he was from a well off family or a, maybe a middle class family. Mm-hmm. Something happens to them. He has to start fending for himself. So he may, maybe after his parents get killed, he grows up. He's like homeless. He's going from <laughs> he's going the Batman route essentially. <laughs> yes and no. <laughs> But you know, you know, we always see Han Solo. He, he's always in a situation, mm-hmm. but never situations that are too big for him. So he learns that from a young age, and then maybe he runs into Lando at a card game where they both tr- are trying to trying to hustle each other. Mm. Well, both of them try to hustle the game, and they realize what they're doing. Oh, wait. And then like stuff goes down, and they, they're, they're in this together. They're running, boom, 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 boom. And they get into the ship, and it's it's Lando's Millennium Falcon. Mm. And they fly. It's, it's, it's a fantastic Star Wars style space chase. And the man, in fact, was crap anyway, right? So they crash down on this planet, and all you hear is, like, "What is that noise? What, that what is that noise?" Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> they meet Chewbacca. We on really that are an interracial. Like, <laughs> I'm so proud of us. So I, I think it's more going to be the story of how Han became to be Han, and how Han came into Chewbacca. Chewbacca, and then the, exactly, and then Spacey. Yeah. Job of the Hutt's got, probably going to be in it too. Yeah, exactly. They'll build that tension because you in episode four, mm-hmm. A New Hope, the original Star Wars movie, Jabba's in it in the extended edition. Yeah. We're we'll talk about extended edition versus normal edition. <laughs> <laughs> I just mumbled a lot, and that's okay. Uh, that Jabba's there, and they sort of are, work for Jabba, but they go against him. They don't pay him his debts. Oh. I also just remembered that Lando is in Star Wars Rebels, and so is Chewbacca briefly. Mm-hmm. So this has to be before Star Wars Rebels. Good point. Good point. Unless it, they're just go, starting straight out. I don't know. Actually, I, I'm excited. That's 28. That's two-ish years from now. I know, right? Probably. What well, you think will come out in Christmas same time? Probably. They own Christmas. I think now. you think Star Wars owns, owns uh, Christmas December time. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you know what's gonna own January? Oh, well, at least next January. Uh huh. A series of unfortunate events. I saw that. And I was like, interesting, You're, an actual series now? I thought you'd be more hyped for that then. I, 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 like, I was that cutoff age for it. I didn't read the books. I read halfway through the books, then I reached the cutoff age, and then I didn't read the other <laughs> half. So. That's why I think I want more. of. I watched the movie, and that was only the th- first three books with Jim Carrey. Yeah. And I was like, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, I, I didn't see the movie. And either. then the other books came out. And I didn't watch them because I, I assumed that I was too old to read those books. <laughs> I needed to read sophisticated novels like Of Mice and Men. You have to read uh, The Great Gatsby. Exactly. That's what I'm going to say. The Bell Jar. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Don't, Great Gatsby is good. Bell Jar. Oh, no. Do not watch it. Don't read The Bell Jar. Last book I read was Maniac McGee. Good for you. That was a long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago in a, a 
a classroom far, far away exactly. from this place. <laughs> but a series of unfortunate events looks good. It's called technically it's called Lemony Snicket's a series of unfortunate events. Mm-hmm. Um, Patrick Warburton's good. Wa- 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 Warburton, 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 aka Joe from Family Guy. Joe, Family Guy, <laughs> is gonna be Lemony Snicket. So he's essentially the narrator, and Neil Patrick Harris is gonna be Count Olaf. And it's on, it's on Netflix, right? It's gonna be a Netflix series. It's gonna be ridiculous. It's Sorry, gonna be so good. January. <laughs> no. I feel like Netflix, when it comes to tuning with these shows, they pitch it and they're like, "Okay, you know what you're doing." <laughs> Here's your money. Hey, here's Go your make it. Here's material. <laughs> exactly. Go have fun. We'll see you soon. <laughs> January thirteenth, twenty seventeen. So that's right on about the a week after um, New Year's Eve. Oh, two weeks. Yeah, it's, 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 it's close. I'm excited just because I get to actually finish the series. <laughs> I was at a high point where they're in some elevator, and then that's where that's where I ended. Well, I didn't even get that far. So don't feel no, bad. That's okay. You I didn't, didn't even get far that they did. You know that the orphans parents died i didn't make it to the bookstore oh i'm sorry look at the book on the shelf (laughs) 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 but that looks good i can't another netflix series that i want to finish stranger things i kind of took on my own and finished Uh uh-huh jessica jones i'm trying to finish hopefully over break i can finish it yeah 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 trying to think that way i can watch luke cage let jessica jones is really good it's just like it's not Action packed at all. It's very. It's all dialogue. Mm. It's really what's all it is. Dialogue <laughs> and explaining what this is, playing what that is. It's not. If, if you if you're in action and explosions and car chases, don't watch Jessica Jones. No, <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but look out for that on Netflix. And you know, since it's Thanksgiving and we got a couple minutes left in the podcast, mm-hmm. we thought it'd be best for us, Kevin and I, mm-hmm. to give you whoever's if you're listening or. You're listening through you someone right else. You right there. You right there. You. I'm talking there. to you. We know where you are. That's a nice shirt, Probably in line for store. <laughs> that we give you the best places to go to spend your money wisely on Black Friday, being a nerd and a geek. And I'll give you my address also. You can send it to and me. And if you want that too, we'll give you that too. <laughs> <laughs> so Walmart, I think, is really good right now. Walmart always has good deals. They always, always good deals. Yeah. But if always you're looking prices. for a new TV, this year is the year to buy 4K televisions. Uh, Xbox is... Ramping up Xbox One Xbox One S yeah. is four K supported. The new PlayStation Pro yeah. is four K as well. Yeah. Get a four K TV because that's it's kinda like investing in the Blu ray and then having it last like ten years. I feel like that's you're selling me right happen. now. You're selling me right now. Sell- right you're now. welcome. You, know, <laughs> you worked at Best Buy, right? Yeah. For and a I'm long the one time. who looks like it it sounds like I worked at Best Buy. <laughs> but Walmart is selling fifty inch, sixty inches. Fifty inch one is Three ninety eight. That's pretty good. That's a, and that's a Samsung too. That's it's not Samsung. like some unknown name brand. Get don't get an unknown. Don't get it. Toshiba maybe. Samsung is where you want to go. Yeah, Samsung is like that's the cheap middle ground. Cheaper the, middle ground. That is the Rolls Royce of TVs, <laughs> pretty much. And so, Kevin, since you worked at Best Buy, what do you think is the best value from Best Buy, at least TV wise? Best value from Best Buy looks like it's going to be that. Uh, let me look here. <laughs> oh, oh, probably the sixty five inch Samsung four K. Mm-hmm, for how much? It, it's usually eighteen ninety nine. It's on sale for fourteen ninety seven. I don't know that that doesn't seem that much of a deal, but but the thing about it is that TV is going to last forever. forever. It's a Samsung and it'll cover your entire wall. Exactly. <laughs> also, uh, if you're looking for Apple watches, Target's where you want to go. It's one hundred ninety eight for an Apple Watch, which is about fifty dollars really? cheaper. That's pretty. It's cheaper than that's the first series. It's not the second series. Yeah. But hey, it's Apple Watch. If you want to have, it's one. like I want one because they look really cool. But, but I don't, don't know what I would use yeah. it for. <laughs> like, all right, sweet Pokemon Go, great. Exactly. Oh, I still play Pokemon Go. You know it. I just play bowling on my on my phone. Like games are on sale everywhere. I think Overwatch is probably one of the better games to buy in this holiday season. Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed Syndicate Collection is like eight dollars. Like, yeah, on Syndicate, Amazon, <laughs> which is the recent Assassin's Creed is eight dollars. Overwatch is like twenty bucks. That game's going to last a while if game, you haven't played The game that. I will be buying on Friday when I leave here. I have to work Friday, unfortunately. Mm. I will be buying WWE 2K17, starting my franchise. Oh. I'll be on sale for $29.99. I can't wait. <laughs> Where? At GameStop? Yep. All right. So GameStop. You don't have to go to GameStop to buy a video game. That's a pro tip. No, you don't. You can go somewhere else. You can go to Amazon. I always check Amazon, even though they have deals all the time. Also, yep. oh, keep going. No, I'm gonna say Amazon um has a lot of buy one get one deals too mm-hmm. for, for video games. Check check them out. They have yeah. a lot of mismatch things going on on there. What are you about to say? I'm sorry, I, I interrupted uh, you. Xbox Store and PlayStation Store are also having a lot of sales. I bought Batman the Telltale series yesterday for a total of fifteen bucks. I'm not buying it yet because no episodes aren't yet. Well, see, I'm not playing it. Un- 
It's oh, on the okay. fifth episode just came out last week. So you're just, you're just waiting. So Telltale Video Games, uh, they're a series of video games. Walking Dead is what started it. And then yeah. they did uh, Minecraft one, Borderlands one, the Game of Thrones one, and now they're, now they're doing a Batman one. Yeah. Uh, it comes out one game, an episode. Like, what, comes out month? once, about every month, yeah. hopefully. And then you you can play it then, or you can wait until the end, very end. That way you know what's going on. That's what I'm going to do. So I invested in buying it now because the fifth episode just came out. I like that word, by the way. What? Invested. Invested. <laughs> I invested in buying it now because it's cheaper because it's Black Friday. Mm-hmm. That's when I buy video games because it's cheaper. Yeah. Or if I buy them, not for Christmas, uh, getting for Christmas or whatever. Yeah. And then the sixth episode is probably going to come out in January. So that way I can play one, two, and three gradually at my own pace and then... Yeah, six will come out. Boom, and you're ready to go. Mm-hmm. That's how you play them games. Yeah, you're smart. You're a smart guy. Yeah, you know, I try. I dabble a little bit. You dabble. I dabble. Dabble. I dabble. <laughs> <laughs> and I think also the Xbox One is on sale at GameStop this week. Oh, yeah. They're, again. Xbox Ones and PlayStations are going on sale a lot. PS4 is actually partnering up, I think, with, I think with Samsung for 4K TVs with that, that it's about like $800 for a 50-inch and Samsung a, TV and the console with it. That's not a bad that's idea. That's a pretty good. That's pretty good deal. deal. Yeah. Um, you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't, you can't sleep on these deals, people. That's what we're you can't to sleep you. on these deals. We're advertising to you. you gotta, All these you gotta, deals. You got to get up. You got to wipe the crust out your eye and go stand in line. You know, we figured we'd give you guys the best option. You the best options on you know where to actually go and not yeah. waste your time in the clothes section trying to fight to get that precious toy that you want. I do want toys on. I do want. I do want some Star Wars figures. Yeah, I want some. I want Mom some, and Dad. I've been having my eye on the Thunder Megazord. I've been having my eye time. on that Thunder Megazord for a while. <laughs> and It'd be mighty kind of you, Santa Claus, if you mutant Santa Claus, if mutant you can Santa Claus, please. See, we brought it back to mutant Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> I, re- I really want it, <laughs> but but really, though, can I please have it? <laughs> and then, because on, cause you know how Power Rangers had to, it was first the regular Megazord and the Thunder Megazord. Mm-hmm. Amazon is starting to sell now the Ninja Megazord. I'm like, I want that too. I need that. I need that. I, 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 I want to have all the like the first series Megazords in my mm-hmm. house one day. So <laughs> from regular Megazord to Space Megazord, I want all to be lined up just sitting there ready for action. <laughs> just in case. Just in case. Defending my defending your child's bedroom. <laughs> exactly. Your, your child's crib. <laughs> no one will get past. No monsters will get you to you. You shall not pass. <laughs> um, also, Pokemon came out. Last week or two weeks ago, I guess. How you doing? How you doing? Ah, struggle is real right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, Crisis Crew members and inductees are about to be in the Crisis Crew. You guys want me to play it? And I'm like, I want to play it, but I'm like, I don't need to play it. I don't need to. In fact, the Kermit meme right now. What? The Kermit meme? Yeah, I think with the the dark side yeah. Kermit versus the light side. So he's Kermit. like, I don't want to do it. I want to play it. You will play you it. You will play it, and you will love and it. You will love it. <laughs> but I. You're actually thinking about getting a two, though. I am. Do you even have a 3DS? No. I, it'd it's be not. a big investment for me because I have to well, get Black a DS. Well, Black Friday, you can buy some 3DSs. So. My only complaint about, I've always had to complain about Pokemon. I wish I, they came out with a, come out with it on a home console. Well, here's the thing. Nintendo Switch, when that comes out in March-ish, yeah. they are talking about releasing the first ever console Pokemon game. <sighs> it's going to be an adaptation of sun and moon which are the ones that just came out it's gonna be called pokemon stars potentially what and it'll be it, it could be just a port from the ds to the switch but that is sick because then you can actually I, play it on your console but have the same experience of a 3ds and take it on the go i'm speechless right at now. the same time what, what, i just remembered all this stuff in my head because <laughs> i looked at it i'm i'm seriously gonna invest in the switch i'm getting the as switch. soon as pre-orders go live I'm putting my pre-order in. I'm getting a switch. I'm not waiting until day of to buy one because I know they're gonna be sold out. I'm definitely gonna be sold out. <laughs> Even though it's, that's four months down the line. The from same now? way the, um, the the NES is sold out. We can't get those anywhere. Mm, I tried so hard. <laughs> I'm hoping they have one somewhere and just like I don't really wanna play. It. I just want to have it. I think it's one of those things I'm gonna order order online, knowing I'm not gonna get it for three months. I'll just buy it. I'm like, okay. You're gonna get it the same time you get your Nintendo Switch. I'm like, well, I don't need this. Now. <laughs> um, but Todd Phillips, who is the director of Bethesda, Bethesda being the video game creators behind Fallout, mm-hmm. Doom, Skyrim, and Skyrim, suddenly referenced that Skyrim is coming out on the Nintendo Switch. Wow. I've never played Skyrim, and I didn't buy the collected edition yeah. that just came out because I. That's gonna be on Switch. That's gonna be sick on the Switch. My nephew is a huge Skyrim guy. Like his ringtone is is, is a Dragonborn mm-hmm. thing, and like he's lost. I'll I'll go call him. Hey, what you doing? Want to go to the movies? No, I'm playing Skyrim. But now <laughs> he can bring Skyrim with you to the movies. That 
Then you're just paying for him to play Skyrim. <laughs> exactly. I'm not doing that. While you go enjoy a movie. <laughs> Stay I, home. I think it's a good idea. I think. I mean, the whole concept of, of gaming on the go is something that's growing. So I mm. mean, I mean, I've I've always loved to be able to sit there and play epic video game. But then it's like when you leave and go do something, it's like. I want to go home. <laughs> I'd like to go home at some time. I don't want to leave my house. I want to play my game. But now, <laughs> if you can take it with you now everywhere you go, mm-hmm. who cares? Yeah. I mean, you can have your VR experience and make you throw up after you're done playing it. If you want to do that. <laughs> you I have really, fun with your VR. I'm going to have fun with my portable gamer. By the way, you know that it costs like, if, if, if you're going into that like totally clean, like you don't have a PS4 at all, mm-hmm. you're paying almost $1,000 for all that stuff. Mm-hmm. That's why you get a TV at the same time, Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I'm Andrew Hoodie on any social media. I am Kevin. My social media is Motech. It's at M0T3KK um, on any social media. We hope you have an awesome Thanksgiving. We're going to be posting on our social medias, uh, and especially the shows, mm-hmm. at Infinite underscore Pods, just to keep you in the loop of what's happening with Flash, Arrow, all the Black Friday deals. Yes. And maybe if we find an NES, we'll maybe. show that too. We'll I'll bring sh- it in next week. I'll show you the show Rook and I gave it to somebody when I took it mm-hmm. from them. <laughs> <laughs> but tell, I think challenge homework for you this week is one, watch Heavyweights again. Because <laughs> if you already saw it once, you need to see it again. Back on, You deserve Jack. to see it. <laughs> I'm a heavyweight. And then on Eat top all of the that, food. your other homework is to recommend to Kevin and I which version we should get of Pokemon. <laughs> Bring, push us one step closer to figuring out if we get sun or we get moon. Sell us. Sell, Sell us. us. No, that's a that's a Star Wars thing. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Come on. Sorry. You're embarrassing us. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, have an awesome Thanksgiving. Yes. Happy Black Friday shopping. Be safe out there. And no you fights. <laughs> just listen to Crisis on Infinite Podcast. <laughs>